hear that old piano from down the avenue. I smell the roses, I look around for you. Oh, my sweet, sweet, sweet summer, coming through that door. It's Saturday and the band is playing. Honey, could we ask for more? Coming to you live from the Great Lawn in front of Old Main on the campus of McAllister College in St. Paul. It's a Prairie Home Companion presented by American Public Media and produced by Prairie Home Productions. With Mr. Rich Dworski over here at the keyboard, our music director, and our guys, All-Star Shoe Band, our radio acting company with us, Sue Scott, Tim Russell, and our sound effects man, Mr. Fred Newman. With all these special guests come in from all over the country to help us observe the 40th anniversary of the first broadcast of A Prairie Home Companion right here at McAllister in 1974. Mr. Sam Bush is up from Nashville, Tennessee, and Stuart Duncan as well. And the Old Crow Medicine Show is with us. The Whalen Jennies have come in off the road for our show tonight. Gillian Welch and Dave Rawlings are here. Robin and Linda Williams. Mr. Joe Newberry is in from North Carolina. From San Antonio, Los Tex Maniacs, a little contra music. The great Howard Levy up from Chicago. And Iris DeMent come all the way from the state of Iowa. Tonight's show brought to you by Holiday Vacations, Hawaiian Holidays, featuring monthly departures and included air from over 100 U.S. cities. More at HolidayVacations.net. And by the Ford Fiesta, it's designed for fun and efficiency. Ford, go further. And by McAllister College, providing education for a world stage. You can learn more at McAllister.edu, McAllister College. Global, rigorous, and inspiring. Well, look who's coming through that door. I think we met somewhere before. Hello, love. I recognize these people. Hello, love. The old Powder Milk Biscuit Band over here, Mr. Bobby Douglas, Adam Granger, Mary Duchesne, Pop Wagner back here on the guitar. Oh, hello, love. From the very first broadcast, Dakota Dave Hall. Mr. Butch Thompson playing the clarinet. Well, I've heard it said time and again you often go back where you I never really believed it was true, but I left the door unlocked for you. Oh, oh, oh. Bobby, play some mandolin there. Oh, there's the people I started out with on this show. They were a good bunch. Still playing after all these years. Remarkable, astonishing, downright respectable. Oh, love, hello, love, hello, love, hello, love. Good to be with you all on a beautiful sunny day in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, the 40th anniversary, the 40th anniversary, nonsense, nonsense. Let's be clear about this from the very beginning. There are things that are so crucial, so important, that our, their anniversary is never, ever observed. The, like, like, like 35E, for example, which has been around about as long as this show, and which is very important in the lives of people. And when did anybody ever, ever close it down and have a big party out there? on the freeway to, to observe it. The St. Paul Water Department has been around for 150 years, and, uh, and nobody knows anything about it. It's run by a board of water commissioners. They meet on the second Tuesday of every month at 5 p.m. down at City Hall, and they, and they provide this water. People come from all over the world to drink St. Paul water. And <laughs> here are these commissioners, and they do this. What would St. Paul be like without flush toilets? Just think about it for a moment. What, what, you, do you get my drift here? 
Longevity is not the big honor in broadcasting. The honor, have you ever met broadcasting executives? No, no, no. The big honor is to have been fired. <laughs> All the great ones were fired. Gene Shepard was fired from WOR by saying unpatriotic things and, and referring to creeping meatballism back in, the, back in the 1950s. Bob and Ray, my idols, Bob Elliott, Ray Goulding were dropped by WOR and dropped by every other station that, 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 that carried them. They, Arthur Godfrey was fired. All these people got fired. So I've missed out on that. I don't know if there's anything I can do on our show today to make good, but 